Hello, everybody. Coming back to you with another crypto slash informative video. I want y'all to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell so we can get all these videos out into the algorithm so everyone can see the content that I am making and puts more ads on the channel. All right. So um, look at y'all. We're looking at the overall crypto market. Fear and greed has been fluctuating crazy. All right. Uh, it has been fluctuating crazy. It was at uh, the 72. We thought we were going into uh, uh, the dot green yesterday. Now, I know a lot of individuals want to see uh, the greed, but y'all have to understand. Don't y'all get that every time it seems like the fear and greed is going all the way into uh, the dot green, that it gets drawn back based on uh, a lot of what's going on in media. Okay. It's driven. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, crypto has a mind of its own. A lot of this stuff is decentralized. A lot of people are on the whole decentralized thing, okay? And that's nothing wrong with that. But see, decentralized was kind of a thing, um, and it is still a thing, okay? But it was kind of a major deal, uh, okay, when a lot of things, uh, a lot of eyes wasn't on crypto, okay? When a whole bunch of this regulation stuff really wasn't uh, at the peak where it is right now. Uh, you have to understand that uh, before we had developers to come out, uh, you know, around in the meme space era, uh, before the meme space even came out, eyes was not on crypto because you had a lot of legitimate blue collar cryptos. Uh, crypto wasn't uh, really scammy like that. Uh, the only uh, problems that we had really back then in, in those crypto eras uh, were uh, losing your money on certain exchanges that were like experimental exchanges. Now, those weren't necessarily scams. That's why they call them experimental. All right. Uh, and those are just the, ex uh, those are just the exchanges that we had to invest on, uh, a while back. Okay. Uh, going on maybe, uh, nine years ago. Cause like I said, I've been investing for nine years. All right. But, uh, a lot of eyes was not on the crypto, uh, market. Uh, uh the thing is, uh, not only were there not a lot of eyes on the crypto market, uh, you really did not have those developers come in that would started scamming people uh, until the meme space came out. Now, the meme space came out a little bit after Doge came out, maybe a year after the Doge came out, maybe a couple years. I'm, I could be wrong. But when the meme space came out, uh, a lot of developers took that as some of the uh, developers took that as an opportunity to just build, uh, I don't know what the hell projects, uh, okay, and scam people. Uh, before that, you had a lot of blue collar uh, cryptos. Uh, you know, crypto was taken a lot more serious by a lot of serious investors. All right. And that's why uh, uh, crypto has lost a lot of its serious investors and a lot of its revenue over time uh, uh, since that time. All right. But it is building back up. We're going a little bit out of the, uh, the uh, like I said, I believe the main space is uh, near coming to an end. And then we're going to be kind of in a space where we just have a lot more blue collar cryptos. All right. But um, a lot of eyes are on the crypto uh, market right now because, um, you know, there are a lot of eyes on. Where did those eyes come? A lot of those eyes got on the crypto after uh, a lot of investors were uh, complaining about uh, being scammed, okay? And when you get so many uh, scam complaints to go to Capitol Hill, obviously they're going to put some, some eyes on crypto. Uh, also, obviously, you know, XRP had a big part to play in that. Uh, but we're talking about even when XR, even, uh, uh, you know, after XRP had got the whole court thing going on, a lot of eyes still was not really on crypto like that. All right. But now eyes are on crypto. So crypto is driven by media. Crypto is driven by Capitol Hill. Uh, that goes back to what I was talking about, about, um, it goes back to also what I was talking about, about, uh, you know, uh, de being decentralized and all of that stuff. Uh, you know, people not being able to figure out crypto and all of that stuff. Now crypto is, is being figured out. Okay. Uh, it's being figured out. And that is uh, also one of the reasons why you see it driven like this is being more controlled. Okay. I never thought we, I can't say I never thought we'd get to the day where I see crypto control, but um, it was just uh, the inevitable. Okay. It was bound to happen. Uh, but uh, we look at the crypto market. Bitcoin is at 45 K. Uh, Ethereum is at uh, 24. Uh, look at Solana right here. I was talking about Solana earlier. A lot of individuals were buying at a high. I know uh, what Solana's uh, ceiling is, or okay, or at least temporary ceiling. So really, it's kind of like at a low at the moment. Uh, we look at the 
uh, overall market cap. Overall market cap is 40. I know they got as far as I think close to 50, but now it's coming back down. Um, and I think that over time, Solana is going to drop back down and XRP is going to overtake it again. Okay. A lot of people were raising about it, uh, Solana overtaking XRP. Uh, Y'all know that it was just a temporary thing. You had a lot of Solana news coming out, but it seems like a lot of it is dying down now. Now you will have some more volume come in and I do think people will be buying Solana at uh, 94 bucks, especially if it drops under uh, 90 bucks. Okay. I think people would uh, uh, probably in my opinion, begin a discount. All right. Seeing as to how, uh, you know, uh, one of its highs where I think, uh, 107, uh, recently. Uh, so, um, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's kind of leveling out right now, coming back down to earth. Uh, XRP is still holding a steady kind of like in that, that 30 billion, uh, market cap range. Um, and I do believe that, uh, XRP will catch it again. Uh, but a lot of good things going on with both projects. All right, uh, crypto market, like I said, is moving sideways, kind of fluctuating. We look at the overall crypto market; it's kind of been like in that uh, that 1.7 trillion range. All right, uh, but uh, the crypto market is right where it needs to be, y'all. Everything's moving sideways. That fear and greed, we're going to keep an eye on that. And like I said, y'all, it's driven. Okay, uh, the, the thing is, you have to understand that the higher ups, they're not going to let it get. Uh, any higher and they're not going to let you get any richer. Okay. If they think you're getting richer, they're going to bring you back down to earth. All right. <laughs> this is my video and I will catch y'all on the up and up. Audi.